Well, hello everybody. I got my half link today. I put it in and I also added another tensioner. So I got one here and I got one over here. Um, I think just for goofs, I'm going to put a wheelie bar on this. I just finished put a wheelie bar on this one. So this has a wheelie bar on it now with strength. And check this wheel out when you spin it. It lights up. Isn't that cool? I forgot about that. So this way, you can tell. So what I'm seeing now on these tires is they're sitting crooked. So this tire is inflated more than that one. That would explain why when I punched it, it shot off that way and flipped me off and uh, twisted my knee, which is killing me today. So I did something with my knee. I don't know if I twisted it or what's going on, but it's killing me right on the side of my knee. And it hurts to walk a little bit, but I just deal with it. So this has got a wheelie bar on it now. That'll let the front end come up. It's about that much. Three, four inches, and it'll catch. But I want to get my air gauge over here because it's obvious. Once I stopped and looked at this thing, it's obvious the wheels are off. So let me check the pressure. I'll let you know in a minute. Well, that's exactly what it was. Um, this one had 14 pounds in it. This one had 6 pounds in it. Aha! So since this tire's more inflated, when it gets a torque, it's going to want to shove you off that way. Because when I first took this out, this thing was perfect. You know, I'm like, why the hell now did it suddenly change? Well, because some air went out of that tire. So now it's sitting level. So, yep, I'm not going to take it out for another test drive. But if I put probably 15 pounds in each tire, that would make the diameter bigger. And I'd probably pick up one or two miles an hour. But... So now it's got a safety wheel bar on it, wheelie bar, that lights up. It's kind of cool. Uh, I got the chain fixed on this one now. Um, I'm going to roll this over so the back end's on the concrete. Ugh. Oh, I ran on my foot. Ow. There. This is a really level spot in the floor. So just for giggles, I'm going to put a wheelie bar on this one. I got nothing better to do today. I got the mail, and the only thing that came in the mail was uh, what do you call it? Half link. But I don't think I'm going to mess with the engines right now. I'm going to leave them where they're at. If I keep having issues with it, then I'll start tweaking them and twisting them. And you can see everything's all wonky as hell in there. Man, I need one of them freaking building tables. You know? Jesus kind of embarrassing some of this work I do because it's not really perfect because I got nothing perfectly square to work on and bolt stuff down to hold it where I want it to weld it and that's what sucks you know all right let me cob up a wheelie bar for this thing it doesn't need it but why not well there we go we're almost ready for this one I got my wheelie bar on that like it's really going to need it but this one will need a wheelie bar. Oh, what's the matter? Should I want to shine? There we go. Oh, the bearing fell out of it already. I'll have to pinch that back in there. Um, must be got a little bit warm when I was welding. But, um, yeah. So that's got a wheelie bar on it now, and that'll hold just fine. Got 18,000 pounds of weld on it. And this should be all set again now. Now that it has equal tire pressure. So i got to remember to check that because that's pretty damn important. So that is it for today. Last thing i got to do is i got to get some nuts for them bolts. And then, even though the lines leak a little bit, I can still try it. But I'm going to grab my pliers, squeeze that bearing back in. And that's going to be it for today. I really got nothing else going on, so that's it. So pretty soon, we're getting closer and closer. So I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one. Take care, and like, subscribe, and share. Thank you.